we're coming at you with another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys a stick figure presentation of a nice sliding play that I made at practice today. No, I'm just kidding. I was told to do that by uh, one of my friends because I uh, had some baseball practice and uh, made a really nice sliding stop. And they were just like, hey, you should put that on your YouTube channel. Obviously joking around. No, but what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you some uh, autographed baseballs I have from various players, various teams. It's actually a pretty cool collection that I have. Sorry that I'm shaking the camera a little bit, but yeah, so uh, first we're going to start off with a uh, semi-pro baseball team. They're called the Normal Corn Belters, Normal Corn Belters based in uh, Normal, Illinois, and uh, I actually have every single player from the 2015 team, I believe, on this baseball. It's really cool. So, uh, yeah, I went to a game, and they had, it was a Sunday, they had where they were doing free autographs, and the entire team just got on the field, even the mascot. Let me find his autograph right, right there, Corny. Yeah, but uh, they had the entire team on the field, and they were just autographing the baseball, so, or whatever you had. In my case, it was a uh, corn belter baseball that I had just bought, so that day it was about five bucks, but yeah, so that was a pretty cool thing that I got to do. All right, so on to the next thing. We're uh, going to get to some cardinal things but before we do that i just want to show you a uh it's not an autograph but it is a game used baseball from an mlb game on july 3rd 2015 andrew kashner was the pitcher and randall gritchick was the batter and this was a pitch that was in the dirt so in the bottom of the fifth inning i think that was the day that he actually went like 0 for 3 so not the best day for him but you know it's a uh baseball from a game so it's pretty cool uh, all right, now we're going to get into the autographs. We're going to start off with the uh, lower ones first. So this one has quite a few autographs, and if I can remember the names, sorry about the shadow, i got to reach over and get it, but uh, if I can remember the names, I'll uh, say the names. So first off, right here we have Tyler Lyons, and then we have Sam Freeman, uh, Sam Tui Valala, Xavier Scruggs, Ty Kelly, and Arturo Reyes, not Alex Reyes, Arturo Reyes, he's a minor leaguer. And then on this side, we have, who, I do not remember. But yeah, there's a couple autographs. Uh, let's see, Sam Freeman, there's that, okay. And then we have this side, and the top one is Marco Gonzalez, and the bottom one is Tim Cooney. So yeah, I remember those ones, but uh, I do not remember these two. If I can remember, which I can't think of them right at the moment, but if I remember, I might get back to them. So yeah, that's pretty much it for that one. Now we'll get on to the big names. So uh, first we'll start off with a legend, Cardinal legend. And it is, I actually got this one not that long ago, back in January, Al Hrabowski. The Mad Hungarian, he actually inscribed that without me asking, surprisingly. He just kind of wrote The Mad Hungarian, so that was pretty cool. I uh, got to meet him at a Cardinals caravan. He was in the MC for the night. It was actually one that Alex Ray was supposed to be at, but he had a family matter that he could not attend, so I wasn't able to get Alex Ray's autograph, but I got The Mad Hungarian, so that's pretty cool. All right, next we're going to go with uh, this guy, because... I, you know, he's a good player, but not the best out of the last three that I have, and it's Michael Walker. And uh, I ended up getting to meet him at the uh, Cardinals winter warm-up that they had in January of 2015. Yeah, 2015. And I was able to get his autograph, so that was a pretty cool experience. Got to meet him and everything, so... Uh, yeah, this is a pretty cool situation. So, uh, that's another autograph, and I got two more to show you. And, uh, I think I'm going to start off with the former Cardinal. He just signed with the New York Yankees over the offseason, and that's Matt Holliday. And, uh, let me just tell you, this was back in 2016 when I got this autograph, January of 2016. And getting to meet him was probably one of the coolest things. This was actually, uh, whenever he started to grow, like, a really big beard, like, it was a big beard, and, like, 
you know, hadn't ever seen him with a beard, so kind of cool to see that. I mean, it was huge, too, and, like, of course, getting to meet a player of his caliber is always something amazing, so it was really a situation that uh, I'll never forget, and I'm glad that I got to meet him before he uh, left St. Louis, and I wish he was still in St. Louis. You know, it was a pretty uh, memorable time whenever he hit that home run. First at-bat back, it was just like, I don't know, it was just, it was just an amazing thing, and it's awesome that I was able to get his autograph, because he's one of my favorite players of all time, you know. So, last but certainly not least, we have the St. Louis Cardinals ace, Adam Wainwright. Getting to meet him was something awesome, because I was able to get a picture and everything with him, which I did with all the other guys too, Matt Holliday and Michael Waka, but uh, I don't know. Being a pitcher, for some reason, I just really love Adam Wainer. He's probably one of my favorite Cardinals, obviously. And, uh, I don't know, it was just really cool getting to meet him because anytime you meet a Major League pitcher it's or a Major League player in general, it's an amazing experience. But getting to meet Adam Wainwright was probably one of the greatest experiences I've ever had. So, uh, that's going to finish off this uh video i hope you guys liked me showing you guys my autographs that i have and uh uh with that said uh like this video comment and subscribe foa moa i will see you guys later